we're gonna have some wind. Um, it's been a hot day and I'm a grumpy little gremlin because I don't like hot days. Uh, I don't like summer. I'm gonna whine about it until autumn probably. So my apologies to those people who are around me in my real life who have to put up with that. Um, it's not even really that hot. It's been 32 today, which is for some people a lovely day. For me, it's horrendous uh, because I'm a delicate special petal. And because I have a seasonally appropriate house, which means if it's hot outside, it's hot inside. And I did think about recording this inside because of the wind, but it's warmer in the house now than it is out here. So I just am so red and sweaty and it's everything's terrible, but I'm OK. I'm all right. I'm coping. Anyway, work in progress Wednesday. Now that I've had my little sadness, you can see the sunshine there. It's quite late in the evening. Well, it's not that late. It's 7.30 um, because I've been waiting for the sun to go away a little bit. And now the winds come up. So we're just going to soldier on. And I will point out to the friend who suggested that I get an external microphone with a wind uh, sock or boffle or baffle or whatever. It's coming. And one of these days I will. Anyway. Um, it's an actual friend, not someone having a snarky go. Anyway, this wasn't wet finished last week, and it is now. And it is done exactly what I wanted it to do, which is go into a mesh. And if you have a look at the other side, you can see the bars between the mesh a little bit better. So that is the exact outcome I was hoping for, but didn't know if I was going to get, because I don't sample. I should sample, but I don't do that. Um, so that is what I wanted. It does need pressing. I will give it a press um, when the weather's not so... Uh, weathery. Um, I am going to stop complaining about the weather but as I said probably not till autumn. Now last week on the loom I had a red warp with a coloured weft and that is off the loom and it's nowhere near any kind of finished. Well I mean the weaving bit's finished. The, the bit where I did the weaving that's all finished. But look I haven't even trimmed I haven't even trimmed the fringes to length let alone twisted them. Um, this came off the loom yesterday and um, it was, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned the weather, I just didn't feel like doing anything else with it after I'd cut it off the loop. But I'll show you how it's come out with the colours. So it's, it's okay, I don't know that I'm, I don't know that red was the right choice for the warp. But again, I've no one to blame for myself, so I should have some confidence and say, yeah, the red's fantastic. Anyway, I've still got more than half a cake of this weft left. Weft left, huh. Um, so I can try it on a different coloured warp and see what happens. So that will, I will, I don't know if I'm twisting the fringe, I'll probably twist the fringe and then uh, wet finish it and it will probably look much the same, but it might get some tracking in it because acrylic sometimes does. But that is off the loom and I have something on the loom, which I'm going to show you as a photograph. And this is what that photograph looks like. Now, ordinarily when I show you something that's fresh on the loom, it is um, at least commenced and I have started weaving, but I haven't started weaving on this. I literally warped it up um, maybe 20 minutes ago and then didn't get round to actually even spreading the header. So this shot's from behind the heddle so that you can see all the colors looking gorgeous. And this shot is from in front of the heddle where you can see those V-shaped bundles that need to be spread out so that it'll have a nice even weave to begin with. So that warp is the Wildflower Gradient by Changeling Coloured Yarns that I showed you last week when it was still in the cake. So I finally got that on the loom. I say finally, I've only had it in my house for two weeks. Anyway, um, I've got a finer purple weft which will make it um, a little bit harder to see the weft hopefully so that the colours will really shine. And I'm also doing a pick up stick pattern. But I have to decide how I'm going to do that because so let me, let me get complicated and explain something badly to you. So if you look at this one with the pick-up stick pattern, this is one pick-up stick with one pattern. So it's the same threads every time, all the way through. The difference in this is if I've done one pick-up stick pattern or if I've done two in a row and then one the next one. That's the only thing creating the difference. It's one pick-up stick, one, one pattern locked onto that pick-up stick. So the plan that I have for the warp that I have on the loom now, is that a sentence? It certainly felt like one, um, would require four pickup sticks, which you can't actually do. You can only have one in play at a time because you can't swap their positions. So I could put this pattern onto a pickup stick and then a different pattern onto a second pickup stick, but the, one, the second pickup stick wouldn't be able to come to the front to load that pattern, if that makes sense. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking tossycock. Do let me know in the comments. Anyway, I've got options. I can either manually pick up every second row, which is what I would need to do, 
or I can set up some string heddles and a string heddle is literally just a stick with strings literally strings looped under certain uh, threads in the warp so that you can lift some threads and not lift others and you can do different different threads for different rows and create a pattern that way my problem is apart from the wind I need four pickup sticks for the pattern that I'm doing and I only have three options or oh, three no I need four string heddles not pickup sticks four heddles and I only have three sticks so that's my problem it's not really a huge problem I've had bigger problems than that in the past so my decision now is to see if I want to wait and uh, wait and acquire another stick of the right size and length or if I just want to manually pick up and I do that because that's how you pick up with a pickup stick you get your stick and you pick up your threads um, so either way it's probably going to be a slow weave so I should be able to show you it in progress next week because it's going to be a warm week I probably won't be weaving that much I will stop complaining about the weather I don't think I've ever stopped complaining about the weather in these videos maybe that'll be my New Year's resolution because we are coming up for that anyway that is all I have for you this week I feel like some of it made sense I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna go and have a glass of water edit this and then probably have a lie down you take care of yourself <laughs> I'm so feeble you take care of yourself thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now